Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video tutorial, I show you how to set up your development environment for writing Facebook API applications in Java. And uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get your access token and uh, how to use this access token to get your information. So let's get started. There are a couple of ways that you can use to get your access token. In this video, I'm gonna show you very simple and um, uh, easy way. If you go to developers.facebook.com and uh, click on this tools and sport link and click on this graph API explorer and from this tab just select graph API explorer just like this and uh, click on get access token get user access token and select all of these you can see I have uh, selected all of these permissions uh, and uh, also click on this extending permission and select all of these because we are going to use uh, this access token in our own application so we don't have to worry about uh, all of this select all of this and click on get access token and it will get your access token and place it in this box just copy this access token and create variable in main class I'm going to create string variable string access token is equal to and I'm going to paste this access token into this string object okay now we have our access token now we can use this access token to get our information from Facebook for this we are going to use Facebook client object Facebook client is equal to let me import this class you can see that it is from com dot rest Facebook now let's initialize this ob object using this constructor default Facebook client and uh, it will take one argument which is string and it take uh, ex users access token so we are going to pass this user access token in this constructor at this point we have our access token and uh, Facebook client uh, which uses our access token to work with Facebook now let's get uh, information about uh, any user I'm going to use my information so that's why we need user object from rest Facebook library user me is equal to and we will use this Facebook client object and we will call this fetch object function you can see that fetch object function and this takes some parameters first one is the endpoint where you want to make your call I will explain it, it later and uh, second one is the class type of the object that uh, this request will return so this request will return user object so that's why I'm going to pass user object here user class here and we can get anything from this object now me dot you can see that uh, I can get anything f from this object I can get my about information my bio information my birthday uh, my last name my languages uh, let's get my name and let's get my languages me dot get languages okay now let's run it and let's see what happens a 
I think this is not uh, string. Uh, this is array, and we can get first language from here. So you guys can see that uh, uh, it display my name here and uh, first language in my languages and now let me explain this endpoint that I told you I will explain it later. If you go to graph API explorer you can see that this box here this is the main endpoint uh, where we can test our application for example I may call to me if I submit this request can see that it returns my object right and uh, if I make any request for example if I make me dash feed it will return all of the post for my timeline so this is the end point where we are uh, making our call I hope you guys enjoy this video in the next video I will show you how to create your own application and uh, I will show you how to extend your current access token. I will catch you in the next video.